Filipinos have found one more way to make a difference down under. Supporters of Gawad Kalinga joined this year's City to Surf in Sydney and ran for the homeless all over the world. Anya Aquino reports. Runners will always remember Sydney City to Surf as the 14-kilometer run which Olympic champion Steve Monaghetti completes in just about 40 minutes. For the last 37 years, this fun run has become an institution in Sydney, attracting participants all over the world. But to Filipinos who joined this year, it has become even more than that. It's the largest fun run fundraiser here in Australia, starting in the city and ending here at Bondi Surf. This year, leading this field is our Kababayan. They are Team GK Ancom, an active Phil Aussie group supporting Gawad Kalinga. They've done a lot of things for the Filipino homeless. In their first year alone, they were able to raise more than $14,000. It is our uh, beloved uh, poor brothers and sisters in the Philippines that uh, give us the inspiration to do this. This year, that inspiration pushed 65 of them to wear their running shoes as they told the world about their cause. For GK Youth in Australia and ANCOP, really uh, looking at um, you know, pushing for the vision in Australia, GK777, and you know, work for the poor in the Philippines and around the world. Gawad Kalinga envisions building 700,000 homes in 7,000 communities in seven years. A tall order, but like this fun run, a task that isn't impossible to complete when one sets his mind and heart into it. We'll do anything for Gawad Kalinga, so that's why we're here. GK member Chito Perez came fifth in the individual ranks, raising $10,710. Overall, Australia's greatest fitness event raised $916,374 for charities across the globe. It was unbelievable. Anya Aquino, ABS-CBN News, Australia. The Philippines queen of bossa nova conquers Phil Aussies. So nice here. I, I, it's so charming. People are so nice. It's a good mix of Asians and others. Keep it here on Balitang Australia.